Welcome back guys. All right, we're gonna do a, another tutorial on how to fly on speed. So Landing or flying in on speed condition is super super important if you want to learn how to actually Land on the aircraft carrier and do a, a proper landing uh, On speed is something you want to do so we're gonna quickly head on over to Batumi which is just over here and we're gonna get ourselves into a non-speed configuration. So I'm gonna set you guys a challenge for today. I want you, after you've listened to this shit, just jump in a jet and you're gonna try and practice flying on speed. All right, so we're gonna descend down here, down a little bit lower. All right, so on speed, what the fuck is on speed? So on speed is setting your aircraft up at the correct angle of attack so that when you land on the aircraft carrier, you're giving your arrestor hook the best chance of snatching a wire when you touch down on the carrier deck. Okay, so if you're not trimmed to on speed, you're not at the right angle of attack, which means you Altitude. are probably going to miss the hook and do a bolter and go around. Okay, so on speed super important. And once you learn how to do on speed, it makes landing so much easier on a normal runway and on the carrier. So we're going to go through what you need to set up right now. So we're going to go adjust controls. We need our landing gear. Okay, so landing gear. You're also going to need a flap switch. Okay, sweat flap switch to full. And you're also going to need trim switch push for descend and trim switch pull for climb. Okay, you're going to need your trim. So left wing down, right wing down. Nose for or push or climb, pull for climb, push for descend. Okay, you trim to trim your aircraft because you need to trim. So when you are coming in for landing, all right, we're just gonna cruise on over to Batumi here and we're gonna start slowing down. So I'm gonna get my controls up for you in the bottom right down here. So to do that as well, if you wanna know how the fuck I did that, the bind is right there, show control indicator and it's default right control plus enter. We'll bring up your controls. And now you can see what I'm doing down here. All right. So we're going to chop the throttles down to idle. Whack the old speed brake out. All right, I'm sure you know how to bind the speed brake. You can see the speed brake is out right there. Looking sexy in the new skin. So we're slowing down. We're looking for a speed of 250 knots or slower to put the gear down and not overspeed it. So you want to slow down when you're landing or when you want to fly on speed or try practice flying on speed, you've got to be at 250 knots or slower before you can put the gear down. Otherwise you will break some things in the Hornet. You'll overspeed the, uh, the landing gear. It won't work properly. All right, so we're slowing down here. And as soon as we hit 250, I'm going to go speed brake back in and I'm going to bring my gear down. So press G and flaps down to full. And we get, as soon as we get there, we're going to go ahead and active pause right now. All right, so we got a couple of things on our HUD right now. So we are looking at our velocity vector. So velocity vector is in the center here. So the little thing that looks like an airplane. All right, and we also have our E bracket, which is this little guy here. So as soon as you put the gear and flaps down, or mainly the gear, uh, you're gonna have the E brackets gonna come up onto your HUD, okay? So as soon as you're in this, this configuration, we've got landing gear down, flaps are in full. You don't want to worry about airspeed anymore, okay? So you're just going to trim yourself to on speed. So on speed is when you trim your aircraft so that the velocity vector is lined up right in the middle of that little notch there, right on the E bracket. This is in line with that. Yeah, that's all you need to worry about. So we're going to go ahead and unpause. So as we slow down, when you get to about 100 and... 70 knots or so so you can see now i'm pulling some back stick and i'm going to start trimming nose up so i'm just tapping the trim there we go all right so we trim there now this is the tricky part with uh flying on speed that everyone stuffs up so once you trim to on speed my hands are off throttle they're off the stick all right you can see my controls down here i'm not moving the stick at all and my throttles there are kind of set 
So when you're in on speed condition, do not worry about this. Okay, don't worry about your airspeed at all. Don't give any shits about it. All you want is this to stay where it needs to be, okay, which is trimmed right in on the e-brake. And you can kind of just tweak it as you need to fly on speed. Once we are configured to on speed, you don't fly the aircraft the conventional way anymore. So if I want to make the nose of my aircraft climb, all right, if I want my velocity vector to increase, rather than pulling back on the stick, so you see as I pull the stick back, I get out of on speed configuration. Now I'm uh, in a uh, too slow, so my angle of attack is too high. So instead of doing that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your throttle. Okay, so if I wanna get my aircraft to increase in altitude, so pitch up, I punt the throttle up. All right, so throttle's on, airspeed's increasing, and my nose is climbing. If I wanna drop my nose, I chop the throttles, and my nose will drop. Okay, so when you're flying on speed, throttle controls pitch, and then your stick controls roll. Okay, so you just use your stick for left and right roll, and throttle controls your actual nose position of the aircraft. Okay, so you gotta resist the temptation to fly and pull the stick up with the nose, otherwise you'll ruin your on speed. Okay, as you go into a turn, you're gonna lose uh, lift on your jet, so your nose will dip. So as you kind of go into a turn, you kind of preemptive put a bit of power in so that you don't lose too much altitude. And your challenge that I'm gonna get you guys to do is you're gonna try and fly around. We're gonna try and get it at, let's go 1400, 1400 feet. So we're just using my throttle. So when you're landing, you always wanna be oscillating the throttles, forward and back, forward and back. So you're kind of pre preempting what the jet is about to do. Okay, so you gotta think ahead, think into the future when you are flying on speed. And just descend a little tiny bit more. So you can see I'm always just tweaking the throttles once we get to 1400 feet, we're gonna try and just fly around and do a, a circle here. All right, so that's close enough. So now we're gonna go into a right hand orbit and we're gonna go from 150 all the way back around to 150, trying our best to keep it at 1400 feet altitude. Okay, so you can see I'm using the throttle there, just mucking, or just mucking, just tweaking it, just to keep my aircraft roughly at the same altitude. Okay, so remember when you're in a bank, you've got to give it a little bit more power. And when you level out off of a AR turn, you've got to cut the power off because you'll get more lift as your wings roll level. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So we're just tweaking the throttle here. I'm not looking at my airspeed at all. I'm just purely going off of my uh, altitude in the top right of the HUD and just using my or keeping my velocity vector right on the horizon line by using my throttle just controlling my uh, my roll itself just by putting a little bit of uh, left stick to kind of keep it close to the run. So we dropped a little bit there, so I wasn't paying attention. So we'll pump a little bit more power on, get the velocity vector to come up above the horizon, get our altitude back up to 1400 feet. There we go. So this is the challenge that you guys need to work or need to set yourselves. Can you fly around on speed and not crash and just keep it on speed and hold it at a set altitude all right so we're just hooking around here at 1400 feet this is all you got to do to practice okay just drop your gear gear and flaps down and then just practice flying around using your throttle to control your nose position and your stick controls roll all right so we're going to roll all the way around here to roll back out on bearing 150 which is where we pretty much started and we stayed more or less at 1400 feet, which is uh, was the goal. So if you can do that, if you can fly around in a right hand circle, the next goal, once you, uh, so as we level out, chop the throttles so we don't accelerate too much. Your next goal is to do it again. Go around to the left and see if you can hold on speed at the same altitude. Now left hand turn. All right, and just practice that. Practice, practice, practice. So you can see I'm just always moving my throttles. Okay, the throttles are constantly going forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And the, the sharper you bank over, the more power you gotta put in to keep the lift 
All right, so if you want, if you're uh, kind of descending too fast, you can roll out of touch and it'll give you a little bit more lift there. We'll touch, touch low again, 1350, so let's give it a bit more power there. But that's all you gotta do, guys. Just practice, practice, practice. And once you get good at learning how much or when to apply power, like, it just makes life so much easier. So we'll just finish this turn. Oh, just as I was looking at other shit. So primarily when you do a carry landing, you're gonna be in a left-hand turn. So if you're gonna practice, or if you wanna be better at one direction, you wanna be uh, to the left, because that's the correct way you turn to land on an aircraft carrier into a left-hand turn as you roll in at the 180. So we just keep hooking around here. And when we get to 150, we'll roll out. Remember, as you roll wings level, cut the throttle. Otherwise, you, your aircraft will pitch up because you're carrying too much airspeed. So we just chop the throttle a little bit. And there we go, 150. Cool. All right, I hope that helped you boys and girls learning how to fly on speed. Because if you can do that, you can land on a aircraft carrier way easier. All right, see you on the next one. Peace.